So one of Huion team members reached out to me via email and asked if I wanted to review one of their tablets. Uh, to which I responded, sure, that sounds like fun. I will be posting an honest review on my YouTube though. They agreed and here we are. Hi guys, Anna here and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a review of Canvas 13 by Huion. Um, I'm very excited. It is the first tablet that I'll be using by the company. So I'm very excited to test it out and I have no idea what to expect. So first we'll do the unboxing, then we'll test it a little bit and then I'll create a quick painting in it as well. So we can truly tell what, what it's like to work with it because the tablet is all about that experience. So let's see what kind of experience this tablet will bring us. This tablet is a very affordable one. It is only $239 and that's only if you don't want any extra accessories such as the USB-C cable or the display stand. Um, if you do, that would be a little bit extra. You can also check everything on the website and decide what you want or don't want. Um, so without further ado, let's get started and see how it goes. All right, here is the moment we've all been waiting for. It is finally the time to unbox this creative pen display and see what's inside. Let's go. Cool, cool. Here we have the display tablet right away. Feels sturdy, so light. I definitely can see myself taking it um, to go somewhere, it is very small and light, but we will look at it in more detail later on. What else do we have? We have the pen. The pen is beautiful, very thin seems comfortable and seems very light to hold very light so it'll definitely be interesting to be working with this what else do we have we have the stand here it is the pen display stand We have the glove, you know how much I love these. So I'm just gonna put it on right away. Um, that's where you download the driver. It's kind of funny, it's in the form of a disc. Makes me remember the old times when you used to actually have discs to download drivers. And here we have the quick start guide that explains everything and how it's connected and where everything goes. The wiping cloth, oh my God, it's actually a good size cloth. Usually with my pen tablets, I receive like a small piece like this. So I love this. Then we have this pen holder. So I guess you can put the pen here and also here. And if we open it up, we should see the pen nibs. Ah, there you go, one detached. There you go, put it back, cool. And that's how you remove the pen nibs. And finally, the most important pieces, the least fun, but the most important are all of the cables. So here we have your three-in-one cable. It has your HDMI port and then the USB one, and this is for power. You can also use the extension for power and then you have to plug it in so you have the power. That connects to your tablet. That's all you get in this box. Now let's look at all of them separately in more detail. A short little break to remind you to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy this content and hit the notification bell button so you don't miss any more of my content. Thanks so much guys, it really means a lot to me.
Also, leave a comment down below to let me know which tablet are you using. And if you are using the Canvas 13, let me know how you like it. All right, guys, let's look at this tablet stand. I found this manual. It actually fell out when I was opening everything up. It says you can adjust it from 20 to 50 degrees uh, to suit your personal preference. It shows me to open this up first. And then I guess select which one of these I want to be using it. And I love when it stands very tall. So I'm just going to see. I guess this is the tallest one that it goes. We have our 50 degrees and I am loving this. And I think this part also like falls down so that I can finally put the stand here because it has to stand on something, obviously. So we already seen this. Let's actually see what it would look like with the pan on top. As you can see, we can just put the pan here while we're working, I guess, kind of just like go for it, go for it. And put it down, <laughs> you're good. Or you can use it as a usual pen holder. So everything is starting to come together. Let's finally look at the tablet. And let's unpack this. Let's peel off this mask before application. That is satisfaction right there, you guys. And as you can see, now it has this anti-glare surface, so you're not able to see the reflection anymore. And I think that's fantastic, of course, because while you're drawing, you don't want to be seeing your surroundings. You want to just focus on your artwork. It looks super cute, definitely so light, but I feel like it is very sturdy. Um, so light, so pretty. I love the design. It's very simple. You have the buttons on one of your sides. You have the eight shortcut keys here that are customizable and we're going to get to that. Then you have your on and off button and all in all it is very, very cool. I like it. It's just very simple. We have your four rubber things here so it doesn't move around while you draw. Two USB-C ports. So then the other thing that I got that is extra is this USB-C to USB-C cable. Um, I think it's very important for me because I do love the simplicity of just connecting it to my laptop and not needing to use the power cord. Uh, but we will see how it goes and if this will be able to just work with the tablet and my new laptop. I just bought it so definitely if it doesn't work then you know it's gonna be a problem because it is a new laptop. So let's open it up. So here's this cable. This one says connect to the power adapter. And voila! Now I'm just going to download the driver and I'll get back to you in a sec. So setting up all of the drivers was super easy and self-explanatory. I will leave a link down in the description where you can also download the drivers and install them. Then I did some basic testing and as you can see, I decided to just draw straight lines and it worked so well. The pen, the stylus picked up the slightest movement so I was able to see the super thin beginnings of the stroke and it was just super cool. I was very impressed with that. Um, um, the pressure sensitivity worked very well as well. There were some weird blobs um, here and there, which I wasn't sure um, about why they were there. So I decided to play a little bit with the settings on the tablet itself and maybe adjust it to the way that fits me better and I noticed that there was a difference after I did that because obviously all of us kind of perform differently. Um, but this pencil, I can tell you, the stylus picks up on your slightest movement and if you don't like it, you can always adjust it. There was not, no weirdness here as well, except this one little guy that I wasn't even sure whether or not it was my fault or the stylus's fault. I did a few sketchings just to fill out the pen and the tablet uh, before I could start actually working and creating a little painting. 
We can test as much as we'd like, but to be honest with you, the only way to understand whether or not a tablet is enjoyable and works for yourself is to start painting or drawing in a way that you always do because all of our styles and techniques and processes are different for me i don't rely on pressure sensitivity as much for the variety of width or opacity or even the straight lines i don't really have a lot of those my work is more messy in a way so for me the testing is cool to just get started but the most important thing is to feel out the tablet when i actually draw if you want to watch the entire time lapse of this painting, many other paintings, as well as different digital painting lessons that I've created on my website, learn.yourartpath.com, people who support me on Patreon have access to all of these files, time lapses, and lessons. So check it out at patreon.com slash yourartpath or learn.yourartpath.com. So I took a couple of hours to work on this sketch and just feel out the tablet. Um, I can tell you that I felt very at ease working with it, which is something you of course want your tablet to have. Um, I haven't set up most of the keys and I just use the top ones for like, you know, the brush, the eraser, and then the undo button. Um, so the most important ones um, and flip canvas as well. Overall, I just had a very nice experience with this tablet. I enjoyed it. It was quite intuitive right away. So if you worked with any other pen display tablet before, I feel like you will jump right in and you will know what to do and it will just feel like, you know, second nature to you. Um, I wasn't sure what to expect because this is not a pro series, but I am super pleasantly surprised. And I definitely think that it is worth the fee that they're asking for it. Another thing they point out on their website is that you can use it as a pen display tablet or a pen tablet. So all you have to do is power it off and then unplug and plug back again the tablet to your laptop and it should work as a pen tablet now. So display is off and I have to look at my screen and then draw on a pen tablet. It didn't work at first, but then I adjusted something in the pen settings. I adjusted where the stylus is working and it worked. So now I was able to continue the painting and look at my screen while I do so and just paint from there, uh, which is also super fun and like super cool experience for sure. So I enjoyed that a lot as well. Overall, it was like really fun to work with this tablet and I'm very pleasantly surprised with the overall experience. So you guys, after all the testing, I feel like it is a very good option, especially for those who are just getting into digital art. For one, being that you never know if you enjoy pen display or a pen tablet more. So because this one is two options, you can use it as a pen display or a pen tablet. You know, it's just, you can't go wrong with that. If you're a professional artist, then you most probably wouldn't go with this model. But as a beginner or intermediate artist, I feel like that's a fantastic start. It was truly a pleasure working with it. You know, I was so surprised. I am used to this big tablet at the 24 inches. So going back to 13, I thought it would be a little bit less comfortable, but actually I had a lot of fun. So yeah, I feel like it's great if you want to take it somewhere with you to go like to work or sit in a cafe and draw someone, uh, especially if you can just use the USB-C cable to connect it to your laptop or your phone, uh, if you have Android, um, you know, why not? It's so portable. So for sure, very cool option for beginners, intermediates, and those who want to take it with them to travel. Um, thank you so much for watching this video, you guys. Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel for more content. It really does mean the world to me, all of your support. It was super fun to review this tablet and maybe I'll get the chance to review more in the future. So stay tuned. And now, see you next time. Bye.